when I met uh, Professor Antambirwechi, he was a very intimidating character. So the first time we, came, we met, and the way how he behaved, because he had just appointed me uh, to be a member of the University Council. I was heading a research institute which I founded, KRC Uganda. So the first time I went and the way how he was taking himself, I said, my God, am I going to manage this man? So, but I took time to understand why, why is this man behaving the way he does? So I, I picked interest to know him. Shockingly, he had a very, very big weakness. And that was his soft spot was really the feel for people, trying to see how to help people who are in need. He had that soft spot. So I could not believe because you find men who have made it, especially lawyers, finding lawyers who are really having philanthropic causes. It's hard to come by because I know your profession and I know what you do. But for Professor Antandruich to have such a large heart that is so merciful and so empathetic to me, that moved me, and I really became his friend in his own, because I also love being, uh, being mad sometimes. I love that madness which people don't understand. So I, 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 we became, we connected, because you see, people with large brains, when they are confronted with uh, all these inequalities that you see in the world and you know you have a big word fight you have to carve out your character and know your path and know how to move otherwise if you go by the general setup you will never you will be frustrated completely so he carved out his niche and we are here because of what he did because he had to come out and say, I need a free space where I can exercise my wisdom, knowledge, and I can transform these human beings. And indeed, he did that. Now, interestingly, yesterday, I, I, wa I was uh, presiding over the road safety event by the Diocese of Ruenzori. And the Bishop of Ruenzori Diocese was there. So I told him, Bishop, you know I'm the, the chairperson, Parliamentary Forum for Road Safety, and I was also elected chairperson African legislatures on road safety, because we mind about lives. So I told the Bishop, because I lost Bishop, we lost Bishop Chalgonza. And then I told Bishop Ruben, and I said, you know, tomorrow there is a very important lecture I cannot miss. And he asked me which one. I said, we are going to remember our great man, Professor John Intandrueki. And uh, when in his uh, remark, he told me that, you know, that man sucked me. He gave me a job. He gave me a job and then sucked me. <laughs> and he said, even, do you know how he did it? He came to my office and he told me from now on what they have sucked you. <laughs> because <laughs> the bishop had wanted, <laughs> the bishop was trying to impose his values on the Professor Tadruweke, like how Dr. Mugisha wants to tell us to be born again. <laughs> so, <laughs> Professor said, I have given you a, I gave you a job and you come to lecture me on how to run my affairs and even my personal life. Now you are sacked. And he sacked the bishop. <laughs> So that is Professor <laughs> Tadrek. So I really enjoyed um, uh, his character. So we discussed, of course now today, some of us 
who really struggle to liberate our color. You know we are captured. You know, you know when you are trying to get captives, people are so captured they, they cannot see the bigger picture. You find people so much in the tribes. You find them in the clans. You find them in, re, in religious sectors. They are so, so... By the way, actually, when we did our analysis, we found that, because I was sharing with the professor, now this, these are issues which we were brainstorming. How, how do we liberate these people? They have captured them intellectually. They are captured spiritually. Then they, 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 they can even lynch you if you come out to tell them that you are lost. Now how do we do that? Of course for, for him he said, I just said UPU. But I said, you know, it, it is Pentecostal. <laughs> now just, just talking. <laughs> it is Pentecostal and you, and you promoting Pentecostalism, the American dominance. Uh, and then he said, no, 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 no. But this is a very good vehicle where when we get people to realize their rights, liberate their brains, make them understand their rights of existence on this earth. So if UPU gives them that, I would have played my part. And I believe that that's why I'm comfortable a body member of UPU and I will serve with one heart. So we have one big challenge. How come we have nurtured so many human resource through education but we are not catching up with the other continents? What is it that the other people did if you look at the Chinese, what did they do to come and capture the world? So what is the problem? Is it the education system we are having? Because I'm now facing these, these experts, now I can look at them very well in the eyes. What, what is the problem? How come we have to go and still beg foreigners to extract our resources and even in the process of extracting our resources we are donating to them you mean we didn't go to school so we the elites what is our problem and we are in charge of the country and we make laws and we feel we are independent since 1962. So these are the issues which we have been grappling with. And on this day, it would be rightful in the memory of our professor because for him, he did not like lamentations. He only moves to fix. So his brain was so special that it was a fixer brain. Not a brain that would uh, give excuses because there are some people who are good critics. They critique, they make very powerful speeches, but they are not fixers. So that's not helpful. But Professor did. He fixed. And that's why we welcomed here in the Toro. I'm so happy that uh, in Imbarara, you did not get land. <laughs> because in Barara you have had your big share <laughs> from the national cake outlook. <laughs> so I am so... <laughs> so here, we are so happy that land was not found. We are equally happy that there was a group which had the premises where Professor Ntambruek landed and nurtured this baby who has grown. So we are very happy. 
So it is our prayer as leaders because the vision which we have for this place is to make it the educational hub of Africa. So Fort Porto to be the educational hub of Africa. That's the vision we are pursuing. So it is our duty to support institutions of this type. It is on record. It is on record that we donated land for Mountains of the Moon University as a local government, which used to sit here. Where Mountains of the Moon University is seated in Saka, that the, the councillors led by the former LOC5, Kayonga by then, they sat and made a resolution to give the district land for the cause of Mountains of the Moon University. So if you have these intellectually liberating entities, institutions, it is still our duty, Mr. Prime Minister, it is our duty to look for land and donate to UPU. Because UPU is a, a transformative human capital development institution that we must protect jealously. So making individuals carry a burden of this nature when they are providing a public service that is extremely essential is really not right. So for me, that is the spirit. That is the spirit for, for, for the first for, for the first time a politician has received the money and has not given <laughs> I take it with one heart. Finally Madam Chigozi, you know this is the Fort Porto Tourism City. The whole of Uganda. We are proud having the name Fort Porto Tourism City. And it is very clear. I don't know whether you have spent a night here or you have just arrived. You spent a night. And I'm sure that when you spent a night, you covered yourself and had a good sleep. Because this climate in the whole world, it's the only conducive climate where you can come and sleep without any inconvenience from the climate perspective. So we have one of the most beautiful, throughout the year we are like this, so nobody can fail to come and learn from here and be an innovator and be a useful human being. So we think that this partnership, we've got to establish a partnership between the, the UPU and Fort Porto Tourism City. So I'm going to, to, to take lead to make sure that we build this partnership because it is through this kind of linkage. What we need is sharpening the brains of our technocrats we have to change the mindset of our people for them to understand the importance of working for the common good that should develop this nation and we can only do that when we expose them to knowledge that works and i think this is what we will work here together so i'm here to support you i'm equally here as a strong believer in my, my great professor who passed on, but as you know, the difference between us, the Africans, and the Europeans, is that for them, when they build institutions and discover knowledge, that knowledge is entirely only by the next generation that comes. They don't discard, they only improve and own. And this is the culture which we need to adopt here. 
if we want to be competitive globally we must know that yes your time is here for a, a period but your legacy will remain for generations and generations to come so the onus is on us who are here to ensure that the legacy of professor Ntandruechi continues and he will continue to live in us and in our great grandchildren because what he has established is something that can never expire So now that all of you, you have come here, that is the resolution you have made. To go and ensure this legacy remains, the knowledge bases remain, and we continue transforming and intellectually liberating our people. I thank you very much.